Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Block Ball. I've been pitched up against this Skaven team and he has bought a Bloodweiser babe for from his um inducements. Let's see if we will get connection. And if we can overcome his pesky gutter runners. There's no Rattoga at least, and I only count two. No, three. Three Gosseras? They are to be hunted down and fouled. Now you might uh, be wondering um, that last game I said that I would be playing uh, my Skaven team, Tactical Turnovers, and it seems that I am not, um, because I am trying to have the team moved from uh, Old World as it is in right now uh, to Forum Open League. Um, but there's some technical difficulties about it, so I'm just postponing that team a little bit. So you'll have to deal with the Dark Earth team. Now, it's going to be interesting if he can get uh, receivers down um, into my half of the pitch, and using a reroll early isn't going to help him, but that might. Um, looking at his team, he has a gutter runner with very long legs, which isn't going to do much of a difference, and he has a block gutter runner, and that's it. Rest is uh, rookies. Okay, so he can punch a hole here. and then probably blitz from this side um, yeah that's a great start now that's why you should cure the ball before you do stuff like that but you already knew that didn't you okay now You can go here. I'm probably going to pick up the ball with the uh whatchamacallit and blitz the gutter run for the sake of it because they're bastards. Um putting tackle stones on gutter runners won't really help much. Um And I have to be careful about not sending up all my players um, into his um, end of the pitch because it doesn't take a lot for him to um, what's it called? Um, grab the ball, throw to a gutter runner, and just then just run the hell away. Um, Let's do this. Okay. That's good. And then I'm 
I'm uh, expecting him to um, blitz. What's it called? Blitz the holy crap! Blitz the guy or the witch elf now that I'm sending up onto the ball. Um, I will re-roll a going for it, but I'm not going to re-roll the pickup. No, I can't afford to. And this is exactly why I kicked short um, against him because the Skaven player really wanted to um, do a two-turn touchdown of just keeping the ball up in his end zone and running, gotta run us down. Okay, so now he can get the ball and possibly even throw it to one of these but he should have a hard time of um, getting past me in and running away so he might just have to pick it up and do a cage yeah so it's going to be a lot of dodges as if, if he wants to uh, pick up the ball and get back out. I want fortunately I can't reach him, but I do have jump up so I can surface throw if it comes to that. Answer of him. Okay. Um, now if I go here I can punch him and still get in on top of this guy to surf him. Um, and this means I can have the wrestle guy forward most as I will need him there. And put another guy on him. Um, now I do want to attack a zone here and possibly attempt the uh, surf. And this guy will have to go somewhere intelligent. Right now this will be here. That's locking down this player, but it's fine. Okay. Let's um, see if this works. It does. And I'm going to need to put him put him here. I can't do the uh, surf. Neither can I here. That's good. That means I can put this player here without and not having to risk the surf here. Let 
Let's see if this works. No. And that's fine. You can take a beating. So is he, yeah, going to blitz him and then... I don't know where he's going to run though. Is he going to hand off and run over here and hope that he's safe there? Right. Now he can either try and run down here and protect his ball carrier or he could move down here into scoring position um, which would probably be the, be the better bet as I will be able to get a 2 die in on him with this guy but he does have block though okay um, Let's have you here. Now the question is if I want to um, I'm just going to use this player to lock up his thrower. He has so few players that I can, I will gladly waste one of my players to lock up his. Um, let's go here with him, as I'm going to dodge with that guy. I need a tacker zone here, which I will get from there. Going to run this player. One, two, three, four, five. There's no reason to run him further down than he can reach. Running him further down won't really help anything. Except for going around players, but don't think that's going to be a big issue. Um and these two will have to go accordingly to if the ball drops or whatever this brings right now the question is if I put him up here one two three four five six seven or eight so that's probably a good bet to do that also get some further up the field. Um, and let's run this guy down here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that is unlucky.
Now I'm going to attempt to score on this guy. I can't pass up um, fouling his um, gutter runner. Thing comes of it. All right. Okay. Yeah, that is the smart move, probably to. Uh, attempt to stay in the game. I'm going to be nice and uh, not foul his uh, very long legged player. There's no reason to. First, you don't succeed. I I really can't um, afford to let him um, what's it called to give him turns to score. Well, in a way I'm having amazing luck, and in a way I'm having terrible luck. <laughs> 